In this video, I'm going to list the 9 most brutal deaths in Scream 6, so stay with me until the end of this video to meet the most brutal ghost face of all time. Welcome to Geek Wave News, every day we have new news about the geek world, so subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on what's happening. The Bodega Shooting the incident at the bodega in Scream 6 was an intense and chaotic scene, Sam and Tara were in fear for their lives, hiding among the store's aisles in New York City, hoping that Ghostface, who had stolen a gun from the cashier, wouldn't discover them and end their lives, it's much easier to evade a Ghostface wielding a knife than one who can shoot from a distance, fortunately, Sam and Tara managed to escape unharmed, but unfortunately, the same cannot be said for the cashier who lost their life. Nonetheless, the killing was relatively swift and not excessively violent, making it the least brutal in the film. Jason Carvey's Killing In Scream 6, Jason Carvey made history as the first Ghostface to reveal himself in the opening scene, delivering an exciting twist to the franchise. In each previous Scream movie, Ghostface would attack someone in the opening scene, alerting the audience that they were back. This time, after killing his film professor Laura Crane, Ghostface took off his mask, revealing his true identity. Unfortunately for Jason, his time as the killer was short-lived. He was brutally stabbed to death in his kitchen, exposing that he never had any real power as a killer from the beginning. Dr. Christopher Stone's Brutal Stabbing When Detective Bailey informed Kirby Reed about Dr. Christopher Stone's murder, his excitement and pride were unsettling. Ghostface broke into the doctor's home and stabbed him through the nose, creating one of the more graphic killings in the film and showing how far Ghostface was willing to go to achieve their goals. Although it was a gory and violent scene, Dr. Stone was not a significant character in Scream 6, so his death did not carry as much weight. Quinn Bailey's Real Murder It is always more challenging to watch the victims die than the villains. Quinn faked her death earlier in the film, but her real demise occurred when she and her family revealed themselves as Ghostface while fighting off Sam and Tara. Tara hit Quinn in the head with a brick, knocking out her teeth and drenching her mouth in blood. Unfortunately, it was not enough to kill her, prompting Sam to shoot her in the head, leading to a grisly end. Laura Crane's Murder the original Scream opening scene is one of the most iconic in slasher film history. Since then, every film in the franchise has ensured that its opening scene is brutal and memorable. Scream 6 added the twist of Jason revealing himself after killing Laura, but it did not detract from the brutality. Jason lured Laura out of the restaurant, pretending to be her date, and then twisted a knife through her stomach, giving her no opportunity to survive, although Laura was not a crucial character. Her murder was highly disturbing. Detective Bailey's Final Demise Detective Bailey had been tormenting Sam and her friends throughout the entire film. Since he was the ringleader, he was the last to go down, and it took a lot of effort for the sisters to defeat him. Sam unleashed all her anger and questions about her connection to her father, the original scream ghost face, on the detective, stabbing him over 30 times. For her final blow, she went straight for his eye leading to a brutal end for Detective Bailey. Greg's Body in the Refrigerator Although Greg was not a significant character in the film and did not appear alive at all, his death was one of the most gruesome murders committed by Ghostface. While on the phone with Jason, Ghostface instructed him to open his refrigerator, revealing Greg's chopped up body inside. Although the audience did not see the murder happen, the thought of Ghostface dismembering Jason's friend was difficult to stomach. Ethan Landry's Stu-inspired death Out of all the deaths in Scream 6, Ethan had it the worst, although it was iconic how Kirby mimicked the way Sidney Prescott killed Stu Macker in the first Scream, Tara thought she had ended Ethan's life when she stabbed him in the throat and twisted the knife like Ghostface had done to many victims in the past, however, like many other Scream 6 survivors, it made no sense that Ethan was still alive, just as Sidney killed Stu by pushing a TV onto his head. Kirby did for the final act of the film, the identity of the real mastermind behind the Ghostface killings was finally revealed, it turned out to be none other than Wes Hicks, the long-lost son of the original Scream Ghostface, Roman Bridger. Anika's Fall to Death Everyone in Scream 6 was rooting for Anika Kyoko to survive, 
especially for Mindy Meeks Martin's sake. Despite seemingly dating Mindy, Anika fell victim to the apartment killings. Just like everyone else, Danny, Sam's boyfriend, noticed Ghostface in Quinn's room, but was unable to warn the others before the killer struck. Ghostface relentlessly pursued Anika and the others, and after a brutal stabbing, Anika still managed to follow her friends up the ladder to Danny's apartment, unfortunately. Ghostface caught up with her, violently shaking the ladder until she fell to her death several stories below. What made it even more heart-wrenching was that earlier in the film, Anika and Ethan appeared to be close friends, making her murder even more senseless. No scream murder has ever been peaceful, but Anika's death was particularly cruel due to her connection to the killer. Ethan tricked her into believing he was a friend, only to betray her with no remorse. It will be a challenge for Scream 7 to top the brutality of the Scream 6 murders, as the films have always pushed the envelope. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. We bring you the latest news every day, so stay tuned. Also, please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or entertaining. We appreciate your support and can't wait to see you again on our next video.